Welcome to Watts 3010 Introduction to Web Development. This course is part of the Certificate in Web Technology and Application Studies at Seattle University. I'm Becky Peltz. I'm going to walk you through the set of tutorials for the Skills One repo, which teaches you the basics of HTML and CSS. There will be a separate video for each tutorial in the Skills One repo. You will only have to fork the repo once and publish the GH pages once, but I'll point this out in every video. Skills One tutorials prepare you for project one page with internal uh, navigation. We're in the five layout 2D repo uh, section of the skills one repo and this is of uh, the first um, work on a two-dimensional layout and we're going to learn a lot more sophisticated techniques for this but we're going to start with a CSS table layout and if you read this it will tell you that there is an HTML table layout which we'll learn in a later tutorial later section um, but it's intended specifically and semantically for tabular data it's, and it was used in, in the early days of, of web development for layout but it caused a lot of problems and that was not never the intention so there are going to there this CSS table layout is not the same as the HTML table layout, but it's still not to the point. It, we're going to see that when we study grid layout and even Flexbox, that there are other ways to achieve this two-dimensional layout uh, that have many more options and are much better. But this is a good introduction because I think it presents tables in kind of the way that um, spreadsheets and we're all pretty familiar with spreadsheets and the concept of rows and columns and so we're going to use classes like row and call to to lay this out and um, before we get into coding this is what we're aiming for we're going to have you can see it's kind of a two rows two column it looks tabular um, and you know you see you see this kind of thing a lot on the web um, we're going to learn this is not a responsive layout. In other words, if I put this on a phone, if I make it, it's not going to really work well. It's it's going to just lose the content. So this is not a responsive layout. But it's a good introduction to the concept of when you have the space and you want to take up all of the real estate, you can do a two-dimensional layout. And you can use start thinking in terms of rows and columns because I think that that's a good model for, for that. So if we go to the code, um, you can we'll see that right now we are given an index HTML and there are no images and it's just coming out left aligned, some headings and some paragraphs. So we're going to work through this and see how we can turn this into a design that looks more like this. All right, let's go to code and see what we're going to be doing here. So in this readme, you can read about some of the ideas I was just talking about um, as far as not using the HTML table for layout, <clears throat> but and that we'll be getting to a display grid in the future that will help with that. Um, but in terms of looking at our design here, we have two rows and two columns, and you'll notice that the HTML is set up we have a main, a section, a header, H1, and then we've got two rows, and within each row, two columns. We have we're using an ID with the with an image in the name, <clears throat> and you're going to see that this is how we're going to get our images in. Is we're going to actually load them through CSS as a background um, to a to a div. So um, I've also got this kind of textual look, kind of a distilled look at what's going on in our HTML structure. So we've got the div with a table and then the div with rows and columns and in one of the columns on each row we've got a background image. So that's kind of the direction that we're heading in to build this out. Uh, and the first thing we want to do is add the style sheet. So we'll come into our our section here, new folder, CSS, new file, style.css, and in the index, let's see, we can just add our link, oh, style sheet, h1. 
href equals CSS style. Okay, so now we're ready to start working on that style sheet. And the thing that we're going to start with is we're going to assign a style to our table. And this is the class table for the section. So we're, our section is going to be set up as the table. And let's take a look at what's in here. We have a display table. So this is this is actually an older CSS. It's been around for a while, CSS2. But um, there's still it's still not a bad way to learn and think about two-dimensional layout. And you can see we're giving it a height and width of 100%, so it'll take up the full um, the full contents of its container. Um, and its container is the main. Okay. Um, largely, the dimensions will be driven by the content in this. So the table layout, you can see we're using a table layout with fixed, and then we're using border collapse separate. So the border collapse separate is something that will allow us to have a gap between the cells, um, between the table and the border spacing. So you notice this gap here um, between, in table, often the, the column entries are referred to cells. So you have rows and then you have cells. Um, and then um, for each row, we're just going to use this display table row. And for the columns, we will use the display uh, table cell. So let's just take a look at what this looks like with having added some styles. We've actually got this set up now so that so that you can see we have uh, the two rows and the two columns. And they're not fixed. I mean you can see that because there's more content up here it's taking up more height than than the second row. That's okay. Um, and now um, we're going to set up the background properties for the images. So this is new and we've, we've worked with images before using the IMG image tag. Now what we're going to do is instead of, we've, and we've worked with background before um, in setting up background color, now we're going to use some background properties um, such as we're going to be able to specify an image for the background and we're going to pull it out of the images directory. So this is included in this um, little project and in the images directory the this notation dot dot slash what that's all about is um, it's a relative reference and the dot dot means go up one level and then the slash means go down one level so if you picture the fact that we're sitting in a style sheet in CSS we have to go up to CSS and then down to images and then we can get to our camel and coyote images. So um, I think that's that's a new way of thinking about this. Let's just go back here. Um, but this is a way, this is another way to add images to a page is through background. And we're saying, you know, make these images 100%, have them cover the whole size, and that's the size of their container. Position them center right and don't repeat them. And I encourage you to play around with this um, background images and see what some of the, to kind of see for yourself what some of the options are. But in this case, this will set us up to add a background image for, of a camel to the camel ID and a coyote to the coyote ID. So let's get that in. And you can see these images have been cut for the most part to there's been an attempt to make them equal size but they don't really look equal size let's inspect and see what sizes we're dealing with so um, you can see that just turning the inspector and changing changes the dimension of them but let's just look at it this way which gives them the total dimension and if we inspect that image 
can see that that div is 665 by 286. I'm looking up in that top uh, left corner. And this image is 666 by 230. So they're not the same size. They are assuming the size of the content of the row. I think that's what's driving their size. <clears throat> so we're, we're not attempting to use CSS to size them. So this is kind of what we're getting. And um, then we are going to do a little bit of styling in the text in the columns. So we're going to add for the column paragraph, we're going to give it some padding and font size which will give us a little bit of the, you can see the padding, the distance, be, the, the area between the content and the border. And then for the headers, we're going to center them. So that centers these headers, these H2. Um, so that kind of sets us up for, let's go back here. And look here for our for our page and let's just see what we've got here yes so this basically is an introduction to styling with a table kind of thinking in terms of table to, and to get a layout without actually using an HTML table table but to get a two-dimensional layout. All right, so the net, we, all we need to do now is just push this out. And we'll push it. And then we'll go out and check that it got pushed okay. So let's see. Yes, so there it is. So that's just a, a quick introduction to one technique for getting into styling. And a good kind of model to think about when you're dealing with, um, when you're dealing with two-dimensional or multi-dimensions um, in a 2D space is the idea of rows and columns. And I think you'll see that kind of reflected in, in other uh, techniques down the line.